it's impossible to make breakthroughs in any field that you're passionate about unless, well, unless you know how to use the two basic steps of the scientific method. Dr. Ellie Goldratt in his book, The Goal, formulated the two steps of the scientific method in the simplest possible way that I've ever seen anybody do it. He said step one of the scientific method is simply to have the courage to face inconsistencies, kind of expectation gaps, gaps between what you expect to see and what is reality. And then step two is then to have the courage to challenge the most basic assumptions. Unfortunately, most people deal with expectation gaps in one of two ways that really isn't useful and very often quite harmful. Firstly, they lower their expectations. Or secondly, they just find somebody to blame. None of those are particularly useful. So what should they do? Well, if they follow these two steps, what they'll realize is that step number two of challenging basic assumptions means that there's really only just two assumptions that can be challenged. One, the assumptions on which the expectation was based. Was our expectation really too high? And then secondly, the assumptions on which we've based the actions to realize that expectation. Was the actions that we took really going to get us to this expectation? And we can apply this to any area where we see an inconsistency. For example, we've invested a fortune in a new technology, but we didn't yet get the value. Let's have the courage to face that inconsistency and ask ourselves, what was the assumptions on which that expectation was based or the assumptions on which the actions we took to realize that expectations was based? We can apply this method to many different areas. And in other podcasts, I'll share with you additional details of a number of areas we've, where we've already applied this to, to make substantial breakthroughs. That's how you make the impossible possible by using the two simple steps of the scientific method.